Good news, if you're into mediocre meat, it appears that Trump Steaks is back, kind of. Now, recently, Kimberly Guilfoyle, the former advisor to President Donald Trump and wife of Don Jr., is hawking steaks for a meat delivery service who is having a few complaints. Uh, in fact, so many complaints, they ended up getting their Better Business Bureau accreditation yanked. Mm. Mm. The, the company is actually called Good Ranchers, uh, and they are getting butchered in their reviews. Uh, according to a review of its website by Salon, Good Ranchers mail order beef bundles, which are very expensive apparently, uh, they begin with $179 Ranchers Classic and top out at the $1,299 Prepper Kit, which includes 17 pounds of bone-in steaks, yummy, 15 pounds of boneless steaks, 15 pounds of signature ground beef, and 40 pounds of various chicken breasts. Wow. I, I mean, the prepper, prepper, that's amazing. How are you supposed to keep that, that meat fresh for that long? I mean, okay, anyway. Now, Guilfoyle did a recent uh, commercial about this, right? In it, she claimed that 85% of the meat that they sell in stores today is not even from the United States. No, that's not true, actually. And, and, and if it was, I, I kind of wish that it was. Because foreign, foreign meat, especially from the EU, would actually be higher quality than what we sell here. According to the Department of Agriculture, only 8 to 12% of the beef sold in the United States comes from foreign sources. Now, Guilfoyle might be talking about grass-fed beef, as Salon notes, of which 75 to 80% is imported, though it is often processed in the United States. So, okay, fair enough. Um, I mean, look, wow. We're talking about meat, folks. We're talking about meat. Uh... So a lot of people who have received their meat, not exactly happy about it. In fact, a lot of the verified reviews, while they are good on the website and other places, reviews elsewhere, not good. Uh, in fact, allegations from customers claim that they paid hundreds of dollars for beef that just didn't even show up. This, where's the beef? Where's the beef? It's gone. It disappeared. Uh, never even showed up. In fact, uh, one customer identified as Lisa G wrote uh, on the Better Business Bureau profile for the company, I restarted my subscription ordering a $139 box. I got an email last night announcing it had come. We were home at 928 when the email came in and went straight to the front porch. There was no box and we've received nothing. Well, oh, that's okay. It's just... It's their new beefless beef. Meat, meatless meat. It's there, but it's not. Look, it's, it's, it's again, anything that the Trumps uh, touch is automatically a scam. Of course it is. Now, Lisa G said she attempted to contact the company, but did not receive a response. She said, my, well, my next move is a stop payment through my bank or have them pursue the company for restitution. Is that, well, look, uh, better hurry before that company declares bankruptcy. A customer named Karen W. also described a similar experience, saying, I've been trying to contact you via email for the past three days. My order slash shipment went to another state, and I would like to have this corrected. Please respond to my emails. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it just flew away. Flew somewhere else. It's gone. In the string of one-star reviews, and it's not. this is not just about, by the way, disappearing meat. 
it's also people complaining that the that the meat that they received was pretty subpar. In fact, in a string of one star reviews on the Better Business Bureau profile of good ranchers, <clears throat> apparently bad ranchers, customers complained about issues such as the quality of the beef and difficulties contacting customer service. Five patrons either uh, used either the phrase rip off or ripped off. I paid $203 for beef and got ripped off. Con man selling the steaks. Well, what do you expect? It's 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 promoted by Trump, Donald Trump Jr. By the way, there's also sweepstakes to meet people like Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro. If it's if that, I mean, that's got to give away that it's an obvious scam. <laughs> I mean, come on. You're going to trust anything that comes uh, anywhere near these 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 grifters. These uh, the con artists. Uh, but uh, Jeff M. continued by saying, they told me there were 20 steaks in a box and there were just 10. Filets were two ounces and filled with fat and chewy and filled with veins. Could not eat any of the filets and used for pulled beef sandwiches. Totally deceived. Would never buy these again. $203 is a lot of money. Mm. <clears throat> that string of terrible reviews. Oh, this is uh, also another one here. Uh, Kirsten M. wrote, don't waste your money. Poor quality of meat. Good sales pitch, though. I would love to send this meat back. I was ripped off. Hmm. Hmm. That uh, terrible review, uh, the many terrible reviews, led the board of directors to Better Business Bureau to revoke Good Ranchers accreditation December uh, 2nd, 2021, by the way. So, so it's been for quite some time. Uh, due to the failure of the by the business to adhere to the uh, Better Business Bureau requirement, their accredited businesses meet and abide by several standards. They've had so long to fix those, and they still haven't. They included addressing disputes forwarded by the Better Business Bureau quickly and in good faith, approaching all marketplace transactions and commitments with integrity, and providing responses to complaints that are professional, that are professional and explain why any relief sought by the company cannot or should not be granted. All this time, couldn't fix it. Didn't want to fix it because they got their money. They're... Their uh, uh, expensive, low-quality meat. I guess it looks like the promise of high-quality meat just ended up being nothing more than a load of bull. 